Hey there, grade four teachers. Let's have a look at some ways that you can connect computer sciences into your space unit. So your computer sciences curriculum talks about design processes and creating artifacts. The lovely thing about this is that makes for lots of opportunities for you to make connections to computer science in your other science topics and your other subject areas too. We know that the computer science organizing idea covers three overarching ideas, one being computational thinking, two being the design thinking process, and the third being creativity. So while we have specific knowledge, understandings, skills and procedures, we also have these overarching ideas that are the common threads from kindergarten through grade six computer sciences. In grade four, students are asked to plan and create an artifact to meet a need. This skill or procedure in itself opens the door for you to use it across your science topics and through your other subjects as well because an artifact can be anything from an algorithm to a model to a prototype or an experiment or object. So basically, Anything that the students are creating qualifies as an artifact. So anytime they're creating something to demonstrate their learning, they're also covering this computer science skill. And they're also probably working through the design process, which is another key piece of the grade four computer sciences curriculum. When students are working with artifacts, creating projects or models, they're likely also going to have opportunities to provide feedback to each other. They may be working in groups or we might have some formal feedback time after the projects are finished to give feedback to each other. And they probably, depending on what the project or experiment that they're doing is, will have some opportunities to test things out and go back and refine to make things better. So again, with the creating of artifacts, there's opportunities to be working on practicing these computer science skills and also moving towards assessing and seeing that the students are able to use these computer science skills um, across a variety of areas is really going to show us that they have that transfer level of understanding of them. So as we move into your space curriculum specifically, students are going to be uh, recording observations of objects in space using appropriate safety equipment when necessary. This is a, an opportunity to have them um, map out this plan and come up with their process. So we could give students some type of recording journal that's all laid out for them and they can go ahead and do their observations. But if we wanted to bring in some computer science and some design thinking, we could ask students to, to determine the process for this outcome. So we tell them, you're going to need to make observations of space during the day and night. And you're probably gonna to have to have some safety equipment. What do you guys think, like what would be a good plan for this? How are you going to make this happen? And probably lots of them are going to think, what? You're not just gonna tell me how to do it? And we're gonna collaborate. And it might take us, you know, as a whole class the first time we work out you know, these steps and instructions on our own. But the idea being that students are going to create the instructions themselves with some guidance from you. And that's going to meet some of that computer science algorithm design and creating of instructions that we see in the skills and procedures there. And you're also asked to have students working through the design thinking process. So by asking them to create this this um, log or journal or however they're going to be recording these observations, we're going to be asking them to think through um, this design thinking process as well. When students are comparing things, we are going to be getting into the world of computational thinking. So to be able to compare something, we need to be able to, you know, break it down and focus on certain attributes. That's that decomposition piece of computational thinking. If we're going to be um, grouping things up or looking for 
patterns. We're going to move into that pattern recognition piece. Uh, so if we're, as we say, comparing observations of objects during the day and the night, we're looking at similarities and differences. And of course, similarities, that's, that's like patterns. And if we're comparing those technologies, same thing, what's the same about them? What's different? Is there, you know, a pattern to, when you look at the sun during the day, is there specific attributes? Is there a pattern in the equipment that's safe? Can we simplify this to it has to be, you know, can we now come up with a rule to look at the sun during the day, you must use this or to look at the sun during the day, wait until a certain time and then use this safety object. And then in the same way, talking about looking at space at night, are there um, different sets of instructions and, and how, how are the, can we use the same set of instructions to look at the sky during the day as we can at night? No, we can't. Hmm. Well, let's, you know, figure this out. There are our algorithms. There's our sets of instructions. We're talking about observations of space. We're comparing what we can see during the day and night, but we're also applying some computational thinking and, and some of the computer science skills as well. Looking at constellations in relation to location in the sky and explaining ways in which stars can be used for navigation and, and this local traditional name. So this is a lot of um, very space specific star specific content. Um, if we're asking students to create a model to represent any of this, these skills and procedures, we're asking them to create an artifact. So we're hitting that computer science uh, skill, I think probably the most important one, and also giving students that chance to use design thinking as we're examining different types of constellations and, you know, their relations in the sky. We could be looking at some pattern recognitions. We might be abstracting and simplifying um, that those sky images, like we don't need all of the stars. We're just focused on, you know, the ones that make up this constellation. And then maybe we can even come up with some algorithms for how to distinguish certain constellations, or we could have students write an algorithm for how to draw a certain constellation. And we would be bringing in some computer science learning into this space learning as well. If you go to Canva, this is, was just a tip. There's some great um, templates about constellations so that you can, can grab these right away just to use with your students. And again, anytime we're looking at specific attributes and things, we're doing this computational thinking. Uh, when we, if we're going to be talking about local traditional names, I've got the empathize button sitting beside that because this is our opportunity to just take a walk in someone else's shoes or maybe not necessarily getting deep into feelings although we may discover that some traditional names of the North Star carry very um, feeling type meanings so this is an opportunity just to bring in some empathizing because we're going to be talking about some people who aren't us. As students uh, that represent this is that that opportunity if we see represent they're being asked to make something a model a prototype in any other words an artifact it could be an artifact or a computational artifact so that even means like something like a slides presentation qualifies uh, in grade five it's it's specific computational artifact uh, and, and as I say, that could be a slides presentation. We might even go to the extent of students creating something in a program like Scratch, in which case they're going to be not only designing an artifact, but they're going to be doing the algorithm and they're going to be doing the debugging. And you're going to be covering things that are in the computer sciences curriculum all the way from kindergarten up through grade six. Anytime you have students working with instructions, thinking creatively about how to get to a certain end goal and you're going to um, have students creating things uh, that for science but again we're going to be covering these computer science 
skills and processes at the same time. And that's really that level of transfer because we've taken it out of a computer science unit and now we are applying it as this is a knowledge and a skill that we're able to use in other areas. When uh, we're just discussing like similarities, pardon me, and differences, we are doing um, computational thinking because we're breaking things down. We cannot compare until we're looking at individual components and that's that computational thinking. If you have your students determine the instructions for any activity, project, experiment, investigation that they're doing, they are going to be working those computer science skills and also whatever other uh, concept you have asked them to create those instructions for. So those are some ways that you can connect computer sciences into your space unit. I hope you enjoyed.